So one of my favorite celebrities who I genuinely think seems like they are such a nice, pure person is Hilary Duff. I don't know many people who don't love Hilary Duff. I love her, I follow her on Instagram, and I was beyond excited when she posted that her house tour was on Architectural Digest's YouTube. You guys know how much I love looking at houses and interior design and celebrity homes. I wanted to wait to watch it with you guys so I can, you know, film my genuine reaction to it. And yeah, let's, let's check out her house. I'm so excited. Hey AD, welcome to my home. I'm so excited, I'm so honored to be doing this show. I'm a huge fan. This is my dog, Momo. Oh. <laughs> I spend a lot of time out here trying to keep plants alive. This one is my newest project. I forget what it's called, but these little fluffy babies on the end like keep changing colors and they're gonna get darker and then they're gonna get like silvery. I love her so much. I don't know if you guys have watched Younger. Is it on Stan on Netflix? Anyway, I watch Younger and she's in that. I love this outfit too. This is such a nice outfit and these outdoor chairs, uh, pops of color and look at her little doggy. He's got the cone of shame. This one's kind of happening already and I'm kind of obsessed with them. But come on in, check out the rest of the house. So I bought this house about eight years ago when I was pregnant with my son and it looked a lot different. I've actually remodeled it twice because I have a She's small addiction. It twice. I love the light floorboards, you know, I'm a fan of the light floorboards and the big circular mirror. This has a bit of a mid-century vibe to it and look at the little bears. I mean, there's a lot of really cute things and it looks big. This is a big home. I actually have one of these trees as well. Those grow really, really quickly. And I like that this is more of a vintage looking chair as well. So it's like a blend of different, different things. Luca. <laughs> you wanna come down here with me? <laughs> this is Luca. We're gonna go into your room next. Maybe you can do the tour. See, she looks like such a nice mom. And look at this light. This light's quite interesting. It's like a, a wired chandelier. I feel like she doesn't want to flex on people when they walk in the door with like crazy chandelier or anything. It's more like, this is my home. I want it to feel homely and it to be beautiful. And I really like that. There's donuts in the kitchen. Donuts! Good talk. So one of my favorite <laughs> pieces of furniture in my house is this credenza. I think mm. it's from the 50s and it reminds me of a corset. One of the first big purchases I ever made in my life. Uh, I think it was 18 or 19 and I thought about it for days and days and days. And then my mom always likes to point out that I have completely destroyed it by like coming oh. in the house and setting my coffee down or my water and it oh. definitely it definitely gets pretty beat up in this household. I love that. I love that it's been worn out. I mean, a lot of people would be like, oh no, we can't use that anymore. We need a new one. But she's like, she likes seeing the love in her furniture. Oh, and I love these little ceramic dishes too. There's a lot of organic formations going on. We, we live in this house and we're hard on this house. And I think that's what makes it feel like such a home. I am really hot on my house as well. Like I break a lot of things. I've always been told that I like, whenever I'm in the kitchen or walking around, my mom and sister are always like, why do you stomp everywhere? Why do you like put things down so loudly? Get it all done quickly and make as much noise and mess as you want. These crystals are constantly changing because my son likes to take them and I don't know, play some kind of like Marvel superhero <laughs> adventure. I'm constantly losing crystals somehow and finding them in random places or never finding them at all. These chairs were just recently in my bedroom and no one could ever see them because people don't usually go hang out in your bedroom. Wow. This is our formal living room. This is also from Crate and Barrel, which I'm obsessed with. That's cool. This is Luca's new favorite hiding space. We play hide and go seek. <laughs> it's a new favorite game around here. I can't believe he fits in there. <laughs> How does he get up in there? You That's can just beautiful. hang out in there for a little bit. We're gonna keep on moving. <laughs> These chairs are from Kelly Wurstler and I love them. These are definitely chairs I'll probably have forever. I love sitting in here and taking meetings. Look at that beautiful marble fireplace. I would be so worried those books would catch on fire because it reminds me of The Sims. If you put anything next to the fireplace in The Sims, you're risking your family's life. But I feel like in real life, it's not as much of an issue. I mean, this roundness looks like mod 50s, 60s, and look at this rounded gold coffee table. It's a, it's definitely got Hollywood vibes about the house, which makes sense, because she's a Hollywood star. But also the kids spend a lot of time in here. I don't know why I wish they wouldn't. Hence the Sharpie <laughs> on my table. This cactus, oh, no. I'm really trying to spend a lot of time on 
getting the watering right. You know what I also really like looking at? Uh, how people utilize their open shelves inside their homes because some people will you know put from left to right full of books or full of things in these shelves and then other people like to space them out like it's a display cabinet instead of a bookshelf there's a lot of really interesting plant pots in here and i love this chair in the other room and these doors, I love them. A cactus that I got myself for my 30th birthday. Oh. She was the same age as me and oh. she lasted and then I killed her. So I'm gonna try really hard not to do that with this little beauty. <laughs> I never thought I was gonna be that person that has picture frames everywhere of my family and then you have kids and it just sort of happens. Aww. So um, this was the day my daughter was born. This is my mom when she was younger. Wow. Her mom is so beautiful. She has good genes. The girl has good genes. I think we look a lot alike. This is this really amazing young artist wow. from California. Her name's Kate Hall. I love this. She finds vintage bed sheets and puts like multiple layers on top. Wow, vintage bed sheets and layers on top? That's cool. Oh, I like this chain, this little chain detail. But I think my favorite thing that I'm seeing decor wise is the interesting organic looking ceramics. I really like anything that's organic and natural looking. Uh, if you saw the last video where we went through Chrissy Teigen's house, I was like, oh my gosh, because everything was kind of nature influenced. So I really, really love these. This painting is very interesting. It's so incredible, I love it. Here's baby Aww. Luca. Oh, my daughter really likes to sit and charge up <sighs> on this crystal. Whoa, that's a big crystal. That's. That's a big one. Also this um, this unit's a bit of fun. It's such an interesting blend of traditional, mid-century modern, 60s, 50s influence slash glam Hollywood. I mean, I guess glam comes into the 50s and 60s, but it is an interesting blend. She doesn't really need any more charge. She has a lot of charge. <laughs> and here is where we spend most of our time. It always looks as fancy in here. These pillows always <laughs> look like this, and I always have fresh flowers and no kid stuff around. That's what it always looks like. I love how down to earth she is. Like, she's she keeps it real, okay? She has a family, she doesn't always have fresh flowers, and I like that she doesn't try and be this possibly perfect person with kids who don't make a mess. Like, I really like that about her. This is a really interesting unit here, having the shelves kind of stacked on top. This flower arrangement, whoever put the flowers in her house did such a beautiful job. The pillars are really nice too. The pillars that are always there. Uh, nice mix. It's just homely, right? It's just, it's, there's nothing pretentious about it, which I really, really like. And this coffee table is so beautiful. Ah, I want it. This is definitely the heart of the home. It's right near the kitchen. I do a lot of cooking. The shelves Whoa, are filled with all the kids' toys, so usually it's all over the floor in here, and there's like dogs running around. It's chaos, which is just the way we like it. We really spend a lot of time watching TV as a family, and I have zero regrets about that and zero guilt about that. I love this TV. It's called The Frame. It's oh, a Samsung. Oh, that's a TV? Whoa, that's cool. And it looks like a photograph. So you don't even know that it's actually a TV until oh. you turn it on. You can get different colored frames like to go around. I chose black because there's quite a bit of black in this room. And you can change out the picture to be like your family Isn't photos that? or whatever you want. If you're into photography, you can like put your own stuff up. This one's called The this Open Sky. But yeah. there's literally like over a thousand paintings or photographs to choose from, which is really cool because everyone has a different style. Did she manage to get a sweet sponsorship included in her house tour? We love a Korea woman. I recently got this crazy piece of art by Matthew Palladino. Cool. And it's very bright and colorful and pink. Like I mentioned, I love pink. The fireplace pink. that was here was very, very ugly. And I was like, I just want to be able to like have garland and like bay leaves and Christmas. And it has like a mid-century modern vibe to it. And mm. I love the exposed firewood and hanging out. We hang out there a lot. When this living room is full of people, it's a good spot to like perch. Hmm. 
This is my Ooh, like kitchen. It's very close to the living room, which is really convenient that this is like one big open Whoa, space. Whoa, it's got like triple islands. So this is something I see a lot in mansions that I've never been able to comprehend exactly how it works, having three benches. Like usually I'd be used to having a kitchen with a bench, but not another bench. What I do like about it is that there's a blend of the marble and the timber top at the end. I absolutely love that. And the gold shelves are really extra and really fun. It's got a lot of life to it. And the blue with the gold handles is really bright and happy. I think when you have so much money to be able to remodel a kitchen easily again. This would be so much fun to do, but obviously it would date really quickly for someone who needs to watch their budget and pick something really classic. And my favorite part about my kitchen are my crazy tiles. This was one of the first things that I found <laughs> that I felt like, oh my God, I have to have those when I was out shopping for materials when the kitchen was being remodeled. It was a very cool. bold choice and it seemed really loud, but now it's like my favorite part of the house and I love talking about it and everyone's like, oh my God, I never would have thought to do that. So it really worked out. That, I mean, kudos to her for, for doing that because you don't see many people experiment that much with patterns and tiles and it comes together really nicely. It's really fun. Oh, a little high chair there. Interestingly, they didn't match the tap to the door handles and the shelves with the gold look. Maybe all the black of the lights, maybe they thought it was a bit much, but I love that this matches the marble. I think that's so pretty. And this blue continues into the other room as well. What? This is a really like robust range hood. I love these shelves. Those shelves are gorgeous. Before you guys came, I was just making sure that my daughter hadn't taken bites out of the fruit <laughs> because her favorite thing to do is take a bite, put it back. Take a bite. <laughs> that would have been so bite, cute though. From every piece of fruit. So you usually have to like <laughs> turn them so her little bite marks don't show. <laughs> this is a huge important part of the house especially during quarantine when I was a second grade teacher. I did a lot of wine drinking and a lot of cocktail making then. That is such a nice bar cart. I love this piece. I got this at this really cool place in LA called Gallery Half. And the thing that's epic about this table, it's just one solid piece of wood. So really? there's no breaks in it and it's quite beat up. So I don't feel like we could do anything to it. I love that because when you buy a piece of furniture that's so nice and you're so worried about ruining it, it just means that you can't utilize it without worrying all the time. So I think that's a really nice idea of having a dining table that you can't beat it up too much. The fact that that's one massive piece of wood is insane. It must be so heavy. And these chairs are really interesting too. I don't even know what style these chairs are, but um, they definitely look, you know, quite rustic and it, it goes nicely inside the home. And this moss platter, I am so weird. I can't eat near moss. It's just a weird thing I have. I'm not sure why, but um, I couldn't do moss on the table, but it does look beautiful. And I love seeing little details like these stickers on the windows because that's exactly what I used to do as a kid. So it's really nice to see so much life and love and energy in this house. It definitely looks like a real family home. And this piece is uh, Lindsay Edelman. And I love wow. it. Kind of reminds me of like some modern space thing. Mm, that's cool. I love oh, that. Oh, this is the kids' playroom. This Aww. used to be a formal dining room and we didn't use it. So we made this a mm -hmm. kids' room. I'm a little afraid to open the cabinets because like, <laughs> pouring out. This is really sweet. Actually, Luca and I at night, we say, I love you all the way. And so I had this made for oh, his playroom. I love you all the way. I used to always say, I love you more than you could ever get even more, which kind of is a little bit like, I love you all the way, like so much, like you can't get any more. And again, a little bit of a rustic vibe with this desk area, a little aquarium. And since we've been doing school, we added a computer. These are his fish that I thought were gonna die. I was like, yeah, of course <laughs> we can have them. We're on like year three of these same fish. But now I'm quite attached wow. to them and they're so social. Like they'll come up and just like hang out and stare and watch you. Where like most fish I feel like swim away. I always like to think they're like saying hi to me. <laughs> and we also have a uh, crested gecko, which is a new addition. What? Actually it was my idea to get him. His name is Chip. Oh my gosh. So this <gasps> is pretty Audrey. much the only space I have in the house that belongs to me. This is where I hide from my kids and lock the door. <gasps> 
This is so beautiful. I feel like I wish I could have a space like this and I would have a meditation room as well added to it. But just having this space where you can, it's just your space, it's your glam space where you get ready, where you pamper yourself. It's such a nice idea for self-care, um, even beyond any sense of being vain. Like it's self-care more than vanity. Um, however, there is vanity, which I love all of these light woods and like soft furniture with curves. It's so beautiful. And I have this really nice vanity space. I mm -hmm. love this so much. One of my friends, Blonda, is Aww. an amazing artist and she sketched this picture of Luca when he was little, brushing his teeth. I recently bought a camera. She's kind of just been living there. I'm getting used to her. So my husband actually <laughs> bought me this guitar. Her name's Oreo. I don't know how anyone Oreo. plays guitar. It's the hardest thing on the planet Earth. <laughs> Isn't her partner like the head of um, a band? So he'd be amazingly musical. Nice bathtub that looks over the garden. I always wondered if bathtubs or bath time for celebrities was ever a privacy issue, like a helicopter could see in or there could be paparazzi or someone on their property. I wonder if being a celebrity that high profile, if she would always shut the curtains. I always wonder about those types of things. Here's my lovely bathtub. I love to take baths. This space, actually, I decided to have a home birth with my daughter, so I had her right here oh in this gosh. room, and it was very peaceful and a lovely way to uh, meet my baby for the first wow. time. This is my closet, and I have a little bit of a shoe obsession. Oh my gosh. I love seeing the closets. I mean, there's some beautiful shoes in here, but again, this closet still doesn't feel like a flex. Like it must be worth a lot of money, but there's something about it that makes it feel so homely. And a bag obsession. <gasps> Look at the Hermes. She doesn't actually, like, who knows, she might have more wardrobe than this, but I'm thinking that she selects what she loves and she doesn't go overboard. And a coat obsession, actually. It's very peaceful and constantly like rearranging things Aww. and it's never usually that clean. <laughs> So come into Banks' room. I had a lot of fun doing this. I don't know, I thought I was gonna play it so much more cool oh. and I went full blown pink. Her bathroom's my favorite <laughs> part, if you wanna come check that out. This whole entire wall is tiled pink oh for her. Oh my gosh, I love and, this. And um, the gold hardware is really sweet with that and um, her little vanity. That's a cool bathroom. Luku got kicked out of this room when Banks was coming. And he was pretty upset about it. I'm like, I promise your room's gonna be so sick. I'm gonna make it amazing. <laughs> I was like, please trust me, please. I'm gonna make it cool. And I think I succeeded. So this was the guest room. What? Oh my gosh. This is the dream bedroom for any kid. It's a jungle gym room. And it's quite a big space. And I tried really hard to utilize more of how tall the ceiling is oh and thinking gosh. about him getting older and how this room can evolve. He has this epic slide that the kids love and play on all the time. They go up a ladder and like run across the top and lie down this and it makes That's a ton of noise, but that's why you have kids, right? Here's incredible. his bed. And there's two bunk beds up there and this net that you can roll across that's super sturdy. Luca wow. made this artwork in the beginning of a quarantine. I would have to agree Aww. with him. Coronavirus is stupid. Here's this cool bathroom, <laughs> really clean. Okay, I'm seeing so many Aesop products in these home videos and I'm seriously impressed because I think Aesop came from New Zealand, which being Australian, that's like our neighbor. These tiles are these like new concrete tiles that everyone's putting in and I love Whoa. them. I think they're so playful. They're so energetic. That's really cool. That was like the most amazing kid's bedroom. I am. I am blown away. I mean, you can just see how much she loves her kids. I don't even know where the bed is. Is the bed up here? So you got ladders to go up. I mean, there must have been so much thought put into this. Oh no, the bed's down here, but there's some stuff upstairs. You can roll across this. Oh my gosh, and all of this beautiful shelving. And I like that she's thinking about how the room will evolve as they grow up, because obviously they're not gonna be a kid forever. I mean, look at this slide. That is insane. And how this kind of steps down. That is seriously impressive. And there's a tambourine on the wall, a nice desk, the truck, fun curtains. I mean, I would have been in heaven having this bedroom. I need this on my wall. I would like a copy of that. If Hilary Duff could sell those, that would be great. Ooh, this is nice. This looks really lived in too. 
And I mean that in the nicest way possible. <gasps> Look at this beautiful pool. So it's a pool that it looks like it could be long and slim enough to do some laps maybe. Oh, with a spa at the back. I love that there's a pool slide from the cubby house. Again, it's just so appropriate for kids. I'm wondering if that grass is real grass, because if that's real grass, how did they mow it like that and make it so green? Or if it's more the environmentally friendly, like fake grass? This is our backyard, and we spend so much time here playing and eating dinners and swimming all the time. Um, I was a gymnast growing up. Is there anything this woman can't do? <laughs> oh my god, she was a gymnast? What? I did not know that. Did you know that? You want to show us your flip? <gasps> oh my gosh, yeah. wow! We also have a water slide out here. I like to say it's for the kids, but it's really for me. I use it the most, I love it. And there's a little <laughs> tree house. Here's my little herb garden. Aww. Trying really hard to have a green thumb. I just don't, Aww. but I'm working at it. It's That's really me. convenient to not have to go to the store to get like chives or something. And, and the, the newest addition. So this is actually our quarantine hang space. When we do have friends over, Aww. the chairs are like six feet apart and no one has to be close to each other. Wow. And we can see some of our friends. That's really great to include and responsible. It's nice to see what um, celebrities will do in terms of, you know, trying to do the right thing during, during a pandemic. It's nice to see this. And, you know, so many people will watch this, like what, a couple million people will. So it's lovely to see um, her be a role model, I guess. And I love this kind of industrial coffee marble table and the wildflower look. I never know how people manage to have TVs outside. Are they waterproof? Like what happens if it rains? I don't know how that works. <laughs> are they waterproofed? I hope they are. And then this, is this a chicken shed or a cubby house? One has to be close to each other. Oh, and that's a chicken we can coop. see some of our friends. So we have oh, six bless. chickens right now and I have hatchlings inside, but they're not big enough to be in the coop yet. So it's been oh, a really so fun wholesome. project for me. Hi guys. Hi. They're just starting to get used to me. I come in and give them treats every day. Hi. Oh my gosh. I love I her even one. more now. <laughs> This is Patsy, one of my sweetest little chickens. She hasn't laid an egg yet, but hopefully soon. Um, so this has been a really fun project for me and I spent a lot of time out here hanging out with them because I'm a dork. I love that she loves her chickens and she's trying to have that wholesome life. She is living a wholesome life. She's managed to be a Hollywood star and live, I assume this is in LA, I don't know. Um, it looks like LA and have that wholesome family life that's beautiful and i mean this house is really really sweet i love these doors and you can see that they've done a lot of work on it i mean it's really nice and i love that there's all of this grass space i would love to know what what they've done with the grass actually just having a look at a couple of the rooms again this front door is beautiful with this um subtle step down i didn't notice that before but i really like a little split level it does make the house look a lot more dynamic and less flat, like more interesting. These lovely light fixtures in the corner. Curved curtain rods, are they? Um, I guess that gives you more privacy because it actually goes round to the edges and goes with the curved furniture she has here. But it is such a homely home. And this is really cool. I do like that there's a sink here. I guess she didn't, is this the bathroom her and her partner use? I don't know. I guess they could have another bathroom. She did say this is like her space, so maybe she didn't want to show their bedroom and their bathroom, which is understandable. That's like her private space. Wow, well, I think that from watching this video, I'm more in love with Hilary Duff. I'm so glad that she did this. And I love how much she loves her kids and her family life. It really shines through. Um, this isn't just a home that is a bespoke, immaculate home. It's like a real home with real family spirit. And that is just so, I find it really inspiring actually and motivational and happy and joyful. So yay, I hope you guys enjoyed looking through this. Let me know if you want us to look through any more houses. But as always, I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Bye, bye.